where did it all begin? Well, some nine and a half years ago to be precise. At the time I was a single Pringle, looking for love. And where better to look, I thought, than the internet and the wonderful world of online dating. <laughs> Before the days of swiping left and right on Tinder, uh, there used to be an app called Plenty of Fish. Now, for those of you who've ever dated online, you know it can be a very weird and wonderful place with lots of surprises. Uh, so six months in of trawling through Milton Keynes finest fish, <laughs> it soon became obvious I was going to have to cast my net a little further afield. Uh, so that I did, and I set my sights on the centre of England, Northampton. a week I got a bite, uh, not a love bite, although that did come later. <laughs> uh, no, in fact, Jess did actually message me initially um, and we chatted online for a week or so and we soon found ourselves on our first date in Milton Keynes of all places. My family is like a puzzle and there was always one missing piece. Nine and a half years ago, as a family, we found our missing piece of the puzzle. Tristan and Ruby were our missing piece. Me, Ruby and B quickly formed a bond that was unmatched. And as well as this, Tristan became the best stepdad me and B could have ever asked for. Um, I've never seen my mum as happy as when she's with Tristan. And as my mum's oldest daughter, this warms my heart. I'm so glad mum's finally found not only her soulmate, but her bestest friend. They couldn't be more perfect for one another. And even better, they've created the perfect little sister in the whole world. <laughs> Many people wish for a fairy tale. Mum and Tristan, you finally got your happy ending and I'm so glad that us and our family are a part of it. Again, everyone, and welcome to the wedding of Tristan and Jessica here at Homewood Hall, which has been sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. Hi, Tristan. Take you, Jessica, to be my wife my partner in life and my one true love. I will cherish our union and I will love you more each day than I did the day before. I will trust you, laugh with you and cry with you. Loving you faithfully through good times and bad, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I give you my hand, my heart and my love from this day on for the rest of our lives. This is the start of a new phase of life for you both as husband and wife. We hope the feelings of love that you share will deepen and grow stronger in the years ahead. It's a tremendous pleasure and a privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife. beautiful today. Uh, you're my best friend and now my wife. Uh, I love you to pieces. Uh, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've done today and organising it. So on that note, you can all raise your glasses to Jess. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Abby and I'm the maid of honour and Jess's sister. And I would like to say that for once, it's nice to be given the opportunity by Jess to speak. <laughs> I know that Tristan has already said this, but it really is worth repeating. Jess, you truly do look absolutely beautifully stunning today. Um, so, so beautiful. And Tristan, you make a pretty daffing green too, especially in your pink grey shoes. Um... Tristan, you've been absolutely... 
brilliant big brother to me over the years. Uh, you're loyal, you're hardworking, um, you're family orientated, you're trustworthy. So many nice attributes, it's untrue. Um, you're a fabulous father, uh, you can be an absolute excellent husband, I'm sure. And I think that it's only right that I conclude my speech by raising a toast. So if we could be upstanding for those who can be, please. And we'll, we'll raise a toast, if we can, to the new Mr. and Mrs. Much. Mr. and Mrs. Much. Cheers.